Welcome to our introductory video on our 150 liter commercial autoclaves. If you are looking to have a set it and forget it plug and play system, then this is where you need to be. It is a truly customizable system configurable for both pasteurization and sterilization. All you have to do is just set your pressure, temperature, and time. This is suitable for both liquid and solid media substrates. These 150 liter autoclaves come standard with 304 stainless steel, as well as high quality electronics. We've ran these systems twice a day, every day for the last three years. And the only thing we've ever had to replace is the silicone gasket. However, we do offer a full lineup of replacement parts if they are needed and they're all offered under our 18 month warranty. All right, so every 150 liter commercial autoclave comes standard with the six kilowatt electric heating element. It runs off of a 240 volt power supply and should be connected to a 30 amp breaker. The whole system can be hardwired. However, we do recommend that you install it with a NEMA style plug. If you need more details, go to our website or consult with your local electrician. So this system comes with two depressurization modes, natural depressurization, as well as a computerized auto venting depressurization that takes place over 20 to 30 minutes. If you're a growing mushroom business looking to increase your efficiency as well as your work output, then this is the system you need. All right, so before getting our autoclave ready for our grain sterilization cycle, we want to fill it up with some water. You'll first notice that on the control panel that there is a water level indicator indicating low and high. Right now, it's reading low. Before filling up your autoclave with water, you want to make sure that your drain pipe is closed by turning it clockwise. After that's closed, you then want to be aware of a few things. Before filling up your autoclave with water, you want to make sure that the water is above your water level sensor but below your vent tube. And then this here is actually where your water drains out from. All right, so now that we're going to fill up our autoclave with water, we wanna make sure we're using the right type of water. You wanna make sure that you're using either reverse osmosis, distilled, or filtered water. This helps to prevent mineral buildup on your heating elements and helps to extend the lifespan of them. All right, now we're gonna fill this up. All right, and now our water level indicator should now indicate that our water level is high. All right, so now we're going to program our autoclave for our grain sterilization. How to do that, you're gonna go ahead and hit set until your first indicator is blinking. This is your end of cycle depressurization program. So there's only two programs or options that you can select one and zero. One means that you want to do a auto venting procedure that takes place over 20 to 30 minutes. Zero is natural depressurization. Today we're going to do the auto venting, going to hit enter. And then to select the temperature, you're going to go ahead and hit set as well. We're going to cook our grain at 121 degrees Celsius, which also correlates with your pressure that you're sterilizing everything at. So 121 degrees Celsius is approximately 17 PSI or 103 kilopascals, 103 to 110 kilopascals or 0.1 megapascals. We use uh, KPA or kilopascals because it's a little bit more precise of a pressure measurement. So after selecting your temperature, going to go ahead and hit enter. And then after that, you're going to want to select your time. So the time that you select is going to be the time that your autoclave runs at temperature and pressure. So once 121 degrees Celsius is met in the autoclave, this timer will start going down. So we're going to go ahead and do our cook for three hours. And then once you're ready, just go ahead and hit enter and then hit enter again. All right, so now we are at our other warehouse with our 150 liter autoclave. This is our three year old unit. It just got done with our sterilization cycle. So we're gonna go ahead and unload it now.
perfectly cooked grain. Bottom's looking good too. No exploded bags. 